For those who don't know, Deep Leffen is an artificially intelligent bot on Twitter that mimics posts by that one Smash player that gets angry a lot on the internet. It takes in information from all aspects of the Smash Brothers competitive community to create some of the most bizarre, weird, and hilarious tweets on the platform, all in the style of what the AI believes represents these real-life smashers. Today, we're catching up on all the posts we've missed since my first few Deep Leffen videos. Before we begin, I want to remind y'all that if you like the video, please support by becoming a member or by simply liking and subscribing. Enjoy the video. Let us take a dive into Deep Leffen. Oh, oh, it's been a while since there's been an update. Okay, so we could actually just go to the beginning of the year. Deep Leffen bot, January 4th, 2022. Just had sex with hazards on, and now I have to hear a doctor lecture me about the importance of penile integrity. <laughs> There's gotta be juicier ones, right? January 6th. Struggling to pay attention to my therapist right now because I'm busy mentally undressing myself. This just sounds like a drill tweet. Did any of you follow drill? They probably inputted some drill into the AI. No, no joke. So sick of y'all acting like the Chuck E. Cheese Invitational is just some tournament I made up to get people to respect me. Relevant. That one's a little more relevant. That one sounds like it could be a smash tweet. Chuck E. Cheese, by the way, I've heard, this is some Smash Illuminati top-level secrecy here. Okay, classified. But the reason that this AI actually picked up this tweet and said this is because on the down low, there was an actual circuit that Chuck E. Cheese was trying to start for the Smash Brothers scene, right? Like, Chuck E. Cheese is all about the kids. Kids love Smash Brothers. So Chuck E. Cheese wanted to host a whole circuit, and Nintendo stopped them. Chucky would have presented you with the, uh, the trophy on the stage with the animatronics. Now, that is an absolute lie, because I think that if I actually say that that happened with no evidence, I could get sued. So, grand finals in the ball pit, but it's it's fun to imagine, right? Like, who knows? Maybe if not for Nintendo, Chucky e. Cheese would have actually tried. Game-breaking patch. Pikachu's genitals are no longer visible on the character select screen due to... The lack of public demand, okay? <laughs> this one I actually like. This is the first one I've, I've chuckled at. I have no interest in Pikachu's genitals being on stream. I would not want a game with that, no. Even though, like, animal genitals are totally normal, uh, in Pokemon? I mean, that's kind of what makes, like, Miltank and Blaziken and Nidoqueen. It's all a little weird, right? Nidoqueen's got, like, the armor boobs. Blaziken's just got, like, this insane bulge. And Miltank got like six titties. It's just, it's just, I don't need to see it. Bla Blaziken, am I saying it wrong? This one's got 19,000 likes, so it's got to be pretty decent, right? Let's find out. Ah, it's an Hbox one. There we go. That explains it. I saw Hbox at the gym holding a 45-pound dumbbell. He said, you can take the rat out of the gym, but you can't take the gym out of the rat. <laughs> Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> I laughed as a courtesy. Hey, would you mind spotting me, Hbox asked? I'm doing weighted pop-offs today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the AI is back. It's back, baby. Weighted pop-offs. You gotta train, chat. You gotta train. You can't just show up in poor condition popping off. That's how Cake Assault ripped his arm off its socket when he was popping off after winning rivals, right? He was in poor pop-off condition. He wasn't training. He wasn't doing weighted pop-offs. That's his fault. Has Hungrybox ever popped a, an arm out of a socket? Look, Hungrybox has fucked up during his pop-offs, right? He's broken a foot. He's passed out on stream. But from that, he's learned. He's learned to train. You don't just show up and pop off raw. Are you kidding me? I woke up from a coma at the hospital. I asked the doctors where Mango was, and they said, buddy, Mango died 14 years ago. I began to cry. They said, oh, I'm sorry. We got that wrong. Mango just looks like he died 14 years ago. <laughs> the one-liners are fire. When it starts tweeting like Rodney Dangerfield, it gets real funny. It's not about how many games you game or how well you game them. It's not even about where you game or why. It's about slipping into someone's house while they sleep tenderly kissing any nearby circuitry and doing this every night for 10 years. 
that scathing, okay? <laughs> that would maybe chuckle. Also, the beginning of that, it reminds me of a quote from a football player. It's from Marshawn Lynch. I mean, I know I'm gonna get got, but I'm gonna get mine more than I get got, though. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm gonna get got, but I'm gonna get mine more than I get got, though. I mean, he's right. I'm not ready to let her go, I think to myself. I can still feel her pulse, but it's faint. I'm losing her, I scream to the medical staff. My hand still firmly wrapped around Marcy's throat. Who the f is Marcy? <laughs> That's not a Smash character. Sometimes deep laughing gets weird. Press 1 if you want to be Marcy right now. Hmm? I know some of you in chat are thirsting. My greatest fear is being sent to heaven. But learning there are no VIP lounges. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. Because that is my greatest fear as well. Dude, last Genesis, I did not get a VIP badge. Can you believe that, chat? Me? Brother, just two years prior, I got top 8 of Genesis. Okay, no, hold on takes these backseats five years prior <laughs> i feel like top eight at genesis should be vip for life and i couldn't ask imagine me begging for vip i'm not gonna do that i'm a champ right you you let Azen beg for vip they don't know who he is anymore you let armada beg for vip we forgot about him he's not even the goat anymore fucking hugs 80 fucking six hot tip the pros don't want you to know. If you moan every time you get hit, your opponents will let you win neutral for free. <laughs> True. Can you imagine? You're just playing like, you're just... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is my opponent going to keep it together? You can't. I would lose to that so quick. Oh my god, that shortened. Oh. What the f*** do I have to do for y'all to take me seriously? Wear a fox costume year-round? Play melee in a fucking fox costume? Completely naked, never washing my fox costume or taking it off, even to shower? Living in the forest, happy for the first time? Is that what you want? <laughs> this one's good. This one's underrated. The answer is yes. Oh, a 21k liked one. Every time Hungrybox is involved, this gets like hella likes. Okay. I met HBox on a rooftop. He said, I miss her, dude. I said, I get it, but you don't have to jump. HBox sighed. He put one arm on my shoulder and the other firmly inside me. <laughs> he swung me over the precipice and whispered, I'm not going to jump because you're going to jump for me. <laughs> Why is Deep Levin HBox so goddamn sinister? They do say. The AI version that is represented in the Deep Left and Lore, the AI version of yourself, is the real you. New tech just dropped. You can now turn the game off and cultivate enriching hobbies instead of mindlessly consuming content and waiting for life to happen. Not even funny, just real. That could have been written by a real person. That's just real. Damn. Makes you think. I noticed a glint of sadness in HBox's eyes. I imagined him as an actor trapped on a stage, forced to perform for an audience he grew weary of. I'm here for you, I wanted to say, but it was too late. HBox had already begun his pop off, killing everyone in the first few rows. <laughs> you can't save us, Deep Left. It's too late. Chat, yeah, you know that this is real, right? Like, you know that HBox is escalating every pop off. There's only one way this can end, with the heat death of the entire planet. I visited Mango at the hospital. He was 85 years old and dying. I said, hey, you're Mango, the last remaining god. He instinctively reached out to bless me, but I pushed his lips away. Not now, I whispered. It's time for you to return home. He smiled and I pulled the plug. <laughs> Just murked him? In the end, he is still the god slayer. Yes, of course. Ah, I see it now. I see it. Top three things you should absolutely not say in neutral. Number one, yet another neutral win from yours truly. Lean in for a kiss. Number two, hey, what's this little guy doing here? Gesture towards your genitals. <laughs> uh, definitely don't do that one. Number three, hey, what's a furry got to do to get off around here? <laughs> Gets youth get euthanized. <laughs> this is great, by the way. I really like this one. 
And also, please do not say any of this. But you can moan while getting hit. Yes, that is allowed. Yes. Mewtwo King handed me a drink. He said, The hardest part about pranking is knowing when you've gone too far. I said, Not really, Mewtwo King. He smiled. Drink up, buddy. You're going to love this next prank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one took me a second. I don't know why. That is uh, sinister. That is sinister in a funny way. In a pranky way. Hungry Box is sinister in a different way in the Deep Left and Lore. Hbox's Prodigy Boot Camp will culminate in a 14-month battle royale in which children would fight to the death in a coliseum, armed with nothing but their love of the game, hand grenades, biological weapons, Tesla coils, crystal meth, signature pop-offs, and their love of the game. New coin box? Friendly reminder, stop comparing yourself to others. The only person you should compare yourself against is you from four years ago, before you bought the game and were still a productive and useful member of society. Some of these are not funny, but they're just real. Have you guys seen those like NPC accounts? Here, let me show you, hold on. Like all they do is write shit that hopes that they hope goes uh, viral. Don't you guys see these Twitter accounts pop up all the time? And all they do is create tweets that are meant to be like shared by people who don't want to use their brain to think of ideas on their own. You know what I'm saying? Like this one's like from reply to your story to being part of your story. No way that that's so sick. And then I, I, I see this on my timeline and I'm angry. I'm like, what the fuck did they just put on my timeline? Let's go back to deep left. Throwback to when Ken and Isaiah used to make us eat wet puzzle pieces <laughs> and trash in exchange for tech tips. And we're honestly grateful for it. Honestly, not too far off. Ken was kind of a dick about teaching people. I'm not going to lie. He invited multiple people over to his house to train them. And him and his brother would just force you to play Mario Kart with them. There was one time where I went to Ken's house for training and we played Mario Kart slash Mario Party for four hours. We drove an hour to get there and we played Mario Kart or Mario Party for four hours. And then they're like, all right, we're kind of tired. So yeah, that's it for today. And we just fucking left no training. <laughs> so this isn't that far off. <laughs> it's not. Proud to announce that I'll be canceling myself preemptively due to the sexist and or racist comments I am likely to make and endorse over the next five to 10 years. <laughs> Sorry, if all of us wrote one of these in 2006, we'd be in the clear. Actually, everyone should write this. In case you ever have prospects of becoming like the president of the United States, with this on your account, you're covered. You're covered. My opponent killed himself, so I gave him a homie stock. Moments later, he again killed himself and again, I gave him a homie stock. A friend asked me later, why'd you do that? You could have lost the set. I had no choice, I replied, for I am a homie and, and he needed a stock. <laughs> that, oh no, are we at the end? Dude, this barely posted. I skipped a tweet. It might help struggling players to realize that succeeding at Smash Bros is no different from succeeding at life. No matter how hard you try, there will always be a Mexican that is better than you. <laughs> That is a lesson for Toph. Toph had to learn the lesson. No matter how hard you work, there is always going to be a Mexican that is better than everybody. <laughs> okay, anyways, chat, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Good night. Peace. Damn. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, baby.